<laughs> so, as you can see in the background, I've got a 28 inch 4K monitor. Been using it now for about two years. Love it, happy with it. I then went and saw a friend's 32 inch monitor. That changed everything, had to have it. So I went for the BenQ 32 inch 4K HDR VA panel. I'm quite excited, it's just arrived. Let's take a look. And it fills the screen. <laughs> Looking at the box itself, it doesn't tell us too much. What we don't already know, USB-C, full UHD and HDR. It does come with AMD FreeSync. I do use a GTX 1080, so probably not going to do too much for me. Uh, it does also have iCare built in, which is apparently quite a good thing to have on these. I've had no experience of using it, so I'll give that a go. 3000 to 1 contrast ratio. Let's open her up and have a look. I'll bring it back here so you can see. So in the box we have the stand. So we have the stand. This really isn't something that I'm going to use, to be honest. It doesn't have much function. From what I can understand, it is just a tilt up and a tilt down. That's not really good for me, and I do use it on a bracket anyway, just so I can free up the space underneath the monitor. I have a power supply and a USB-C cable. A mini display port, a full-sized display port cable, and a standard HDMI cable. Slide that in the way. Quite excited to get this out. I'm hoping for a really nice upgrade on a 28 inch. It's exactly what I bought this for. Slide that out of the way. It's actually quite lightweight for what it is, but there it is. This is actually quite large. I didn't think it was gonna make a huge difference, but going from the 28 to the 32, when I saw how good the 32 looked, I knew I wanted one, but looking at it here, I haven't even turned it on yet or put it in place, but I can already tell. I'm gonna enjoy the extra screen real estate. It's gonna be great. The back is very straightforward. And it there, you can see we have HDMI times two, a display port, headphone jack, USB-C, and the power connector. And you also have your standard connector for your mount, which is what I'm gonna be using. We know it's got HDR, it's a VA panel, not IPS, but because I'm gonna be using just the one monitor and I tend to have my workflow set with one monitor, it shouldn't be an issue. It's gonna be directly in front of me exactly where I need it. I will check what it's like for light bleed, I will check what it's like when I'm using it for Photoshop and Premiere Pro editing. It says it's got over a billion colors, which is what you need. It's got the eye care technology built in, so I'll have a play with that and see what that's like. It's also got what's called low blue light technology and flicker free technology. Again, I'll have a play, see what I think. The main thing for me is a bigger screen real estate. It's HDR. I'm actually also then gonna use the 28 inch monitor over there which will become my review monitor over here. I'm currently using a very small five inch monitor to review what this camera sees, which I will show you once I put that in place, you'll be able to see what that looks like as well. So a bit of a two for one bonus. So this isn't gonna be a mega technical review. This really is something I just wanna put in place, let you know what I think. It's coming from a video editor and photographer type of review. This, what you're watching now has been edited using this. So fingers crossed when this is all finished, I'll be able to give you a good idea of what I think. I think that's enough chat from me, so let's get this put in place and see what it can do. Wow, just wow. This monitor has absolutely blown me away. Superb, superb quality. Truly wonderful picture quality. The HDR seems fantastic. I've tested it in low light uh, for light bleed around the edges and I can't see anything. And I genuinely mean that. I cannot see anything at all. No dead pixels on my unit, which is great. For productivity, it seems fantastic. The screen real estate is perfect. I am very impressed. There's links below if you want to find out more about this monitor. So the question is, was it worth going from a 28 to a 32? 
absolutely. What a great panel this is. I cannot wait to put it to good use. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.